Edo 2020. Why Governor Obaseki should start writing and over notes? Wow, this one sounds serious. Well, as the Edo State forthcoming governorship election is approaching, many have been making predictions on how the gubernatorial race will be because Edo politics has attracted many Nigerians' attention because it involves many personalities. The epic context is between the incumbent governor of the state, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. They will slug it out with 12 other candidates at the 18 local government area of the state on 19th September. Okay. At this point, I want to advise Governor Baseki to start preparing his stewardship records and hand over notes because he has been rejected by the good people of Edo State and he does not deserve a second term or show more or less appointment for Obaseki in 2019. Is Obaseki in 2009 is the only real credential he can boast of without much controversy his education in the University of Ibadan, especially starting from how he gained admission with only three credits without a credit pass in English and mathematics is still being investigated. Well, I challenge Governor Baseki if he truly deserves second term in office to publish in three Nigerian newspapers the number of projects that he started, completed and commissioned in his almost four years in government. If Governor Baseki sees to show the number of projects that he started, completed, and commissioned, he should do needful by and and in writing and over note before it's too late for him. As I noted that Obaseki's poor performance and inability to provide purposeful leadership and deliver dividends of democracy to Edo people in the last three and a half years will make it impossible for Baseki to return for a second term. Okay, and it is recalled that in less than three months to the commencement of the Edo State forthcoming governorship election, Governor Baseki commissioners and some of his senior special assistants to Obaseki resigned from their position due to the internal problem in Governor Obaseki's government. Okay, since Governor Baseki is unable to defend his failure in the last three and a half years before the people, if the state he has chosen to, before the people of the state he has chosen to misdirect his frustration against an innocent people in Edo State such as Captain Osa Okumbo. I am calling the Inspector General of Police IGP to old Governor Obaseki and his deputy Philip Shaibu responsible for any violence that might happen in the state before, during and after the coming gubernatorial election in the state. Okubo is not a governorship candidate of any political parties in Edo State, so it is unimaginable and unexplainable why Governor Baseki and his government have decided to channel their anger and frustration on him. The power of incumbency won't save the Obaseki because all APC faithful members are confident that Edo people will on 19th September come out in their large number to vote for man of integrity to lead them. Honestly speaking, Obaseki is already overwhelmed by his inevitable defeat by the candidate of the APC pastor Osage Ize Iyamun. I am using this medium to remind Governor Obaseki that his continued blackmail and attempt to malign the image of the former national chairman of the APC Comrade Adam Soshiomole and Captain Osa Okumbo will fall flat because Okumbo has earned more respect, trust and confidence of the good people of the state than the embattled 
governor of Baseki, the duo of Oshomale and Okumbo has only won one vote and one will wonder why governor of Baseki is attacking them over an election that will be decided by the electorate. Okay, I therefore call on governor Baseki to start writing and over note due to the aforementioned reasons above. Okay, well, according to this passage that I have just read, and if you take a very good at it, if you listen very well, you will discover that this person, this writer, is maybe a member of the so called APC because the way he has you no know, written his words clearly shown that he is a supporter of the APC. Well, meanwhile, there's been a lot of comment on Twitter concerning this. Let's get to hear what people have said so far. Well, this person called or more. Karu Christopher said, you must be very stupid. You might not see the election day. Mark my word. Okay, that is what Omokaro Christopher has said so far. Meanwhile, Justice said, Oshio let's talk. Time has changed. Get used to it. Okay, who rejected him? Maybe you and your family rejected him. Not a dope people. Useless man. Follow your criminal party and his criminal candidate nonsense okay and then abuchi for real is saying that i know this fake write-up must come from apc everything about apc is always fake all right and that is another one and edo waye anita said obaseki you too much that's why people are hiring you four plus four agenda continues no hand over note is required those asking for that should tell themselves to start nailing all over because that's their assignment continuation of kneeling for them in jesus name okay and if i if you know as in a lot of people are commenting and based on this comment you will discover that there is love for obaseke wow this is straight well another person is saying that if good governance is a matter in a do state governor baseki should do the needful by writing and over note before september that is what tech smart just said so far okay that is that well one thing for sure that i believe is that everybody has freedom of speech and we have said this times without number this is a game of politics is either you are for one party or you are for the other yes it will surely come up but on my own side i think what i believe is that that when you have done well when you're done you don't need to be agitating for people to vote for you and as far as i'm concerned i can see that our baseki has really done well because a lot of people are so supportive of him well that is what i see about that it is said that no man is god godwin obaseki and philip shahibu all the way well a lot have been said so far obaseki may god almighty protect and guide you that is what a har ami yakel has said so far and it's also said that my brother good news you are the best and the winner thank you god is on your side this person is saying god is on your side or baseki all right ah uh, well what do we have to say more well one thing for sure is that this is a game of politics. I will keep repeating that. And I will advise that everybody should keep praying so that there will be a free and fair election come September 19th. Uh, do the election. Well, that is my prayer. Well, we are not praying for any casualties. Everybody have to be very careful and watch out and pray for God to lead this election. And that is my prayer. Well, meanwhile, my people, let me have more takes from you on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.